I'm now at the beginning of a long corridor which runs behind the high altar. This part of the basilica is completely covered by frescoes painted by the Bolognese artist Achille Casanova, who worked here from 1910 to 1925. The style is typical of the early 20th century, the so-called Art Nouveau, also known as the floral style. On this corridor there are eight chapels, all dedicated to different saints, and in the central part is the sumptuous chapel of the relics. I am now standing in front of the chapel of St. Joseph. The central statue is by Leonardo Liso, while the frescoes, painted by Ermolao Paoletti in 1896, depict the flight into Egypt and the death of St. Joseph. In his sermons, Anthony defines St. Joseph as the essence of humility. He sees Joseph as a person who goes almost unnoticed. He is that discreet and hidden presence who nevertheless provides support and guidance in times of difficulties. In short, St. Joseph recalls all those people who lead simple lives behind the scenes, but who are, in fact, true protagonists in the history of salvation, the history that really matters. The Chapel of St. Francis, where I am now standing, was painted in 1939 by Ubaldo Oppi, one of the great Italian painters of the early 20th century. In this chapel, Oppi, who was also a pupil of the famous Austrian painter Gustav Klimt, illustrates 12 scenes from the life of the Saint of Assisi, including the crib at Greccio, the sermon to the birds, the wolf of Gubbio, and the letter to St. Anthony, with the permission to teach theology to the friars. Well, you must know that St. Francis had heard such good things about St. Anthony and his extensive knowledge of sacred scripture that he authorized him to teach theology to the friars, knowledge that was also recognized by Pope Gregory IX, who at the time of St. Anthony's canonization called him Ark of the Testament, and much more recently by Pope Pius XII, who officially declared Anthony a doctor of the Universal Church in 1946. On the altar we see a beautiful statue of St. Francis by sculptor Aurelio Mistruzzi. It was in this confessional that Father Placido Cortese, who also served as a Director General of the Messenger of St. Anthony, granted forgiveness to penitents who came to the Basilica during the terrible years of the Second World War. At the same time, however, he also collected appeals from some university students, his secret collaborators, who told him the names of people who needed to be saved from certain death at the hands of the Nazis occupying Padua. Betrayed, Father Placido was arrested by the Gestapo on the 8th of October 1943 and transferred to Trieste. There he was subjected to terrible torture, but he never revealed the names of the young people who knelt at his confessional for spiritual direction, but also for a risky mission of charity. He died under torture and was probably cremated in the Riziera of San Saba concentration camp. His confessional has become a memorial today to remind all pilgrims who approach it of the story of a man, a friar, who had the courage to leave his mission of charity to the point of giving up his own life. This is the Chapel of Blessings. The frescoes were painted by Piero Nigoni between 1981 and 1982. The scenes of the Sermon to the Fish remind us that St. Anthony, besides being the great saint of miracles, was also an extraordinary preacher, so much so that even fish wanted to listen to him. While the fresco 
of the saint confronted the tyrant Ezzelino da Romano emphasizes the fact that uh, he was always defending human rights. Every day, hundreds of pilgrims come to this chapel to receive a blessing from a friar of the basilica. The blessing given to the faithful is one of the sacred signs instituted by the Church through which spiritual effects may be obtained. When we ask God to bless us, uh, a loved one or a particular object, it is as if we were asking God to take care of them. Therefore, let's pray. Dear St. Anthony, bless and protect our families. Keep them united, assist them in their daily needs and deliver them from evil. Amen.